Lane Murdoch, Getty Images The Oklahoma City Thunder were supposed to be among the top challengers for the Golden State Warriors in the Western Conference, but they fell to 12-14 on the season Monday with a shocking 116,103 home loss to the Charlotte Hornets. Charlotte was spurred by a 222 run and poured in 64 points in the second half. It's up to us, honestly, Russell Westbrook said, per Royce Young of ESPN.com. Just gotta figure it out and play the same way every night. Young noted Carmelo Anthony left the locker room without speaking to reporters after the loss but Paul George remained and stressed it was important to not shift into panic mode. For the talent that we have, obviously this is not where we want to be, George said, per Young. But we're going to remain optimistic, though, about the future and what we can do. Once we can find a way to really do it night in and night out, it's no panic mode, but we have to start playing better. It's getting to a point where we can't allow ourselves to be at this point. We can say we're going to figure it out, we can say all that. But at some point it's got to stop. Young highlighted issues in the third quarter specifically, noting the Thunder have been outscored by 9.9 .9 points per 100 possessions in the 12 minutes after halftime this year. Charlotte added to that with a commanding 4,022 advantage in Monday's third quarter. It just seems we're a completely different team that last four or five minutes, and that's the way we've got to battle for 48 minutes, George said. Tis still only December, and Oklahoma City is just a half game behind the Utah Jazz for the final playoff spot. There's plenty of time to turn things around, and there is something to be said for the necessary growing pains as the team attempts to fuse three typically ball-dominant pieces together that are in the same offense with Westbrook, George and Anthony. The Thunder were starting to dig just that with a 41 mark in the previous five games before Monday's collapse. They will have the opportunity to get back on track against Georgia old team, the Indiana Pacers, on Wednesday.